Ward goes around and hits the wall. Up in the air. Heavy contact for Patricio Ward. Are you okay? Are you okay? That's his spotter and driver coach, Jonathan George, talking to Talk Ward. To me. Are you okay? I'll tell you a copy you want to. Well, that's a good sign that one of the safety workers gave a thumbs up. See yeah. his hands moving. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's good news. Scary few seconds. Very, because very his head may be pinned in there so much you, you can't move it around much. Yeah. But he's handed the steering wheel off. Very, very similar incident to what we saw for Felix Rosenquist. Almost carbon copy of how he goes down to the low side to try and cross over that arrow wake of the car ahead. And in doing so, you just go a little too aggressive, little too low too early in the corner, and the rear swap sends on you. Big impact, though. And and I think that's, I think that's Pato's first ever crash on a Noble, even though he's done them in Indy Lights and the Road to Indy and Pro Mazda as well. That'll it was be his in, first impact. It was in turn two. He's at the middle of the back stretch of turn of between turns two and three. And good to see him climbing out of the car and looking at least relatively good. We'll get a full report in a little bit, but up and under his own power and no urgency from the AMR safety team. Probably would have rung his bell pretty good. That was a solid thump up against the wall didn't look like it dissipated as much energy as uh, as the crash of felix rosenquist and a few additional looks here coming up on the on our screen so essentially the way the car spun was a carbon copy of felix rosenquist except the car didn't fully complete that 360 rotation so he first hits with the front of the top Lucky not to flip the car. Yeah, it started to go over, but it stayed on the ground. And IndyCar has done some things to try to keep the cars from getting too far up in the air. And it, it started on that process, but didn't get too far off and came down on all fours. Let's watch it slowly. So again, very similar, except again, doesn't get the same rotation as Felix Rosenquist. And I think this angle of attack is, is definitely worse than the one that Felix Rosenquist had and look at how close he is to flipping over and you see if we can go back to that slow-mo shot there again and pause it while he's fully up in the air we can show you show you what IndyCar has done from a technological perspective to prevent these things from falling over but you see trying to save it here and that's just a vision. Look at how far forward his head goes. Oh, boy. And you can just see immediately hands come off the steering wheel when he, as soon as he knows he's in trouble. And, and you can see at the front of the tub here. So there's a couple of views that we want to give you. So. Here's the first one. So, see him getting airborne right here. So let's pause it right here. So you notice these two little holes right here in the underside of the body. That was originally enclosed on the old body kit of this current Indy car uh, and basically created a huge surface area underneath the car that would essentially make it take off. But these little pockets right here help take off some of that pressure that's generated on the car and uh, essentially removes the risk of, of them going airborne quite so much. And if we can have another look of the previous shot we had, the most worrying thing from a car perspective I'm seeing here with the crash of Pato Award is that frontal impact. <laughs> Man, that 
that's a big impact. So again, if we can go back and look at another couple of these slow-mo shots, you'll see that because he hit at a 45 degree angle, essentially with the front of the car, he ripped the nose off and essentially indented the tub of the car. So, so that, that carbon fiber monocoque, that, that cockpit of the car will probably be a complete throwaway here because big, big damage to the front corner of that tub. Hey, motorsports fans, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit subscribe before you go for all the latest news and highlights across motorsports.